Hello, fellow YouTubers. So funny story, I just went through this whole spiel and I was using my little knockoff GoPro and I went through the whole spiel and then I was like, it shut off on me. And then I looked at it and I didn't put a memory card in it, so it timed out. I wasn't recording the whole time. Yeah, guess something I'll have to get used to, you know, making sure that cameras have memory cards. Who knew? So. Today, I want to talk a little bit about um, something I'm excited for, but first I'll start off by showing you, uh, this is my uh, 2005 GMC Duramax 3500 Dually Diesel that I bought from Pennsylvania, actually, uh, a couple of months ago, which should haul my real light camper very nicely. I, uh, I set it on the truck already once. But I didn't drive anywhere because I didn't have my bars fully set up, which I still don't. But I will show you those, that in a minute. Um, but I did set it on here and it sat very nicely on the truck. But my other problem I have is I also have a 97 22 and a half foot Cobia with a 350 Chevy in it. And it's got a Bravo 3 out drive with the counter-rotating props. I uh, rebuilt the engine a couple years ago. Well, I bought the boat a couple years ago with a blown engine, a frozen block. But basically, if I want to haul my camper and tow my boat, well, this camper overhangs, it's five feet, including the bumper there. So five foot, that's another reason why I put the camper on the truck to try it out, was to see where my feet ends up pretty much flush with the back of the bumper here. So, in order to do that, for Christmas, I got a torque lift super hitch, original 20K, which is more than the capacity of the truck anyway. Um, this hitch right at the truck is rated for 17,000 pounds without weight distribution. So that alone is incredible. But um, I also purchased a five foot extension that I just put together uh, two days ago, which I'll show you a picture of that all together on the truck. It looks pretty cool. Weird having it on the back of the truck without a camper there, but it looks pretty cool. I'll show you a picture of that. But anywho, uh, in order to haul the camper, now I could get, you know, you can get, there's there's like two brands of camper tie-downs, Torque Lift, and uh, the other one escapes me right now. I forgot what the heck it was. But anywho, you know, just Google it. But anyway, I, um, I originally set up this camper and my old camper. I set up bars on the Ford truck I had and I modified my setup a little bit, which I don't even have the bars to show you, but I can show you. There's the uh, bracket that I fabricated. So it's a square tube that goes up that I cut in half the long way so that part of the tube pushes on the bottom of the chassis. And the other part, I had to drill two holes in the chassis and I used grade eight bolts and bolted it on there. And then this is square tubing from actually my old Reese extension that I cut up because a two by two square bar can slide through it. And I welded it onto the end of my drop channel there. So my, uh, I have a square bar that actually goes straight through to the other side and it sticks out about yay far so that the chain from the camper because the camper overhangs the truck so the chain can go down and tie down to the bar so that's the front setup and it was similar setup how i had it on the ford i didn't have the square channel to be able to slide the bar through what i did was i had a, a pipe welded to the top of the bar and i just put it up and pinned it it was kind of a pain in the neck but it did the job so hopefully this will be a lot easier because now i can just take the bar slide it through i drilled a hole to put a pin in to hold the bar in place 
and uh, that's the front one. Now, the back one is a little different because uh, with the torque lift hitch, and they have one that you can buy that basically utilizes these bolts here, and they have their own setup that has a tie down thing, but it's like $300. But for a little bit of fabrication, I'm gonna set up my back bar to go on. The only thing I did different from their installation is rather than using these short bolts on all four, I used longer bolts, still grade eight, but I used longer bolts. So this way here, what I'm gonna do is um, I got a piece of angle iron that's gonna go, I'm gonna drill the holes in the angle iron. It's gonna go down and over like this. And then that same square tubing that I used up front, my old Reese extension that I was cutting up, I'm gonna cut it to go inside the to channel here and it's gonna get welded to my angle iron and then, you know, nut it on here. So it'll be the same thing as the front. I'll be able to take my square bar that I have for the tie down and I'll be able to just slide it in. Basically the only reason why I can't, because this, this is bigger than my square bar. So if I just put the square bar in there, it'd be all flopping around. So I got the L, I'm gonna have the angle iron with the smaller square channel inside of this channel, right up against the top here. And then my bar is gonna go through. So I don't know if I'm gonna get to fabricating that later today or not, I don't know. But maybe I'll do a video of that fabrication process or I'll just show you when it's all done because sometimes I'm lazy. But uh, yeah, so I am excited for that. Um, uh, I've only used the torque lift hitch um, maybe once or tw twice to tow a dump trailer we have. The other thing I'm a little meh about is, and I know like from using the hitch, it's gonna, you know, the paint's gonna wear out and stuff, but it like started chipping a little bit on the edges here, which is like, eh, kind of sucks. I'm probably gonna just touch it up, you know, but I don't know if that was just something that got messed up when they were painting it or, or what, but just from sliding in there, like it actually like, hey, you can see right there, see? The paint's just kind of, it's brand new. I, I put it on like two weeks ago. But anywho, you know, I'll touch it up and keep it nice, nice. I'm trying to think if uh, there was anything else. So far, I've liked it. And I think this hitch is gonna be fantastic. I think this is gonna work very nicely to tow the boat in the camper. Look at, they're like in a line. They're like ready to go. Put the camper on, put the boat on. Just pull it right out, just like that. I don't know. I don't know if my, my driveway's kind of steep, so I'll probably end up, uh, I got a fence company across the street with a nice big flat parking lot. So I might just borrow their parking lot, throw the boat over there, put the camper on, hook it up, and go somewhere. So, uh, that's where I'll stop for now. And, uh, Maybe videos upcoming I'll show is the fabrication of my back bar to go on. And uh, I'll take you a tour of the camper. Things like that. Yada, yada, yada. You get the idea. All right. Take it easy.